A very good morning to all of you, my dear students. Let us continue with our organ system. Take your book and turn to page 171. You know, our body requires various nutrients to work properly, and for these, we eat different food. Food is first chewed in the mouth. Food is broken into smaller pieces. The food gets mixed with saliva. As the food is swallowed, it moves through the esophagus to the stomach. The food is gently pushed down by way of muscle contraction known as peristalsis. When food enters the stomach, the J-shaped like structure, mucus, hydrochloric acid, and digestive juices present in the stomach act on the food to form chemical reaction. The mucous membrane protects the inner wall of the stomach from the effects of the acid present in the stomach. The hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria that enters with food into the stomach. In the stomach, food is broken into smaller pieces to form thick juice called chyme through movements of the stomach. This process prepares the food to enter into small intestine. The next organ system we have is the excretory system. The excretory system consists of the kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder, and the urethra. The elimination of waste from our body is called excretion. Kidneys filter waste products to form urine, and this urine is carried to the urinary bladder through thin tubes called ureters. The urine collected from ureters is stored in the urinary bladder and excreted through a passage called urethra. Excess water and salt in our body is also given out in the form of sweat. The sweat cools the body when our temperature is high. And the last organ system we have is the reproductive system. Dear students, this is the organ system by which humans reproduce their young ones. So, dear students, remember the kinds of organ systems we have in our body. That's today's class. Thank you, take good care, and we shall meet in the next class.